The truth don't need motivation. I'm just saying I can't let these dudes lie. Cedric's sitting here telling you why he ain't a movie star. He over here look like a walrus. You didn't say nothing. You can't even get his arms off his stomach sitting on why I'm not a movie star. It's a situation. He never wrote anything. Remember, when Cedric the Entertainer starts, he's supposed to be singing, dancing, and telling jokes. That's why he's called the Entertainer. Right. We found out he can't sing, can't dance, and doesn't he write doing jokes. He did four comedy specials. They're so bad, Shannon, they're not available on Netflix or Tubi. Can I say that again for the audience? They're so bad that they're not available on Netflix or Tubi. What up, y'all? Much love, peace, and blessings. This your boy, Get a Mic, and I appreciate everybody for checking into the channel. Feel free to smash that like button and share this video with anybody that you come in contact with, man. And, uh, you know, the whole situation with Cat Williams has just been so entertaining. It's been a lot going on surrounding it, man. But one of the parts that I want to talk about in this video is the fact that Cedric the Entertainer stole his joke, right? And I know uh, Steve. it's been shown that Steve Harvey been stealing jokes as well. Um, what I want to talk about in this video is how the fact that Cedric Entertainer stole his joke and then proceeded to go up there on Club Shay Shay on another a previous episode and basically um, act as though it never happened. OK, and I think, you know, with, with him doing that to not only see his his performance, go steal the joke. And then uh, turn around and use the joke in his in his uh, stand up. Uh, just really, really changed my opinion on Cedric Entertainer, and it's it's a very distasteful thing uh, for somebody to do something like that and steal um, and, and act like they never even did it, man. So I think uh, that's gonna change my opinion on um, Cedric Entertainer. I'm not really, really feeling that guy like that. I always thought he was a pretty cool dude. Never thought he was extremely funny uh, when it comes to uh, stand up, um, but I did enjoy some of his movies and things like that. Uh, the barbershop series and stuff like that i thought was pretty cool um you know but for the most part let's just get into this interview man i want to give my thoughts on the whole situation of him stealing the joke how i feel about it and y'all let me know down in the comments about how y'all feel about you it as well think it's a, good, a good comedian the world doesn't think that sir i have 12 comedy specials he has four specials that are not available on netflix or tubi it seems to me, Cat, that you have not given a good chance. No, no. You want to say I the record straight. Winners are not allowed to allow losers to rewrite history. I don't say facts, facts, facts. And I gotta, I gotta uh, double down on that, man, because uh, a lot of times there's a lot of losers out here going around, and they doing too much. All right, there's been a lot of people out here that's just not really talented. They out here stealing, they doing things that they're not supposed to be doing and they and they delusional and they making a big noise like they're the ones that, that started everything or they're the ones that, that's the originators. And uh, a lot of times you gotta shut that down, man, so the masses can see that, um, you know, the truth. You know, if, if, it, if you don't stand on anything, you need to stand on the truth. And I think that's what Cat Williams has been doing in this entire interview and pretty much his whole career, you know what I'm saying? Just standing on truth, standing on business, man. I think he stood up tall in this interview, real spill, real spill. Mm-hmm. So I want to jump further in this interview as well, but let me let me see what Staying else he's saying. These things, if my name is not breached by these people on your platform, then if you give the, a liar a platform to lie then I, I'm not being messy by saying, hold on, that never happened, it's untrue, and there are hundreds of witnesses for each thing I'm saying. So, And I agree with that, because a lot of times you have a lot of people that move around and they be lying, okay? They be doing it, they be moving around like a snake and lying and, and proceeding to continue to lie. And a lot of times when a person step up and tell the truth, a lot of times that person that's telling the truth is looked at to be um you know a villain or looked at to be a problem or this person is uh you know hard to deal with or something like that and um and that's not necessarily shouldn't be the case when a person is just trying to step forward and say exactly what actually happened and i think that's what um what cat williams does pretty much better than nobody okay it, it almost starts to seem a little bit petty because it's like why you got to take it there but um i feel like these type of people like like um Cat Williams and I and I have similarities in my personality 
where it's like I, I I prefer the truth over anything, and it may seem like you might come off as petty, but it's not. It's just like I'm a truth teller, and I like to tell it how I see it if I if it's if at all possible. Um, and I think that's what he was getting at in this particular uh, situation here. But I want to jump a little bit further into the interview. <clears throat> Hopefully, I don't get an advertisement here where he started talking about uh, the whole situation with him and said. And let's go ahead and try to get into it right here. And it's my last joke, and it's my closing joke. Okay. Nine, three minutes, but then you're just hitting them with jokes after right. that because you don't have to set it up. Right. Uh, Mark Curry had already helped me work on this joke because I thought it was good because I was getting a standing ovation on it. He had me go back in the lab and help me craft it to be an even more powerful joke. So this is not just a random joke. This is my very best joke, <laughs> and it's my last joke, and it's my closing joke. Okay. 1998... <clears throat> I'm doing this joke, it's on Comic View. Cedric comes to the comedy store. He watches me in the audience. He comes backstage. He tells me what a great job I did and how much he loves the joke. Two years later, he's doing that as his last joke on the Kings of Comedy. Wow, so he basically just congratulated Cat Williams, told him how good of a job he was doing, and then proceed to go in there and steal the joke and use it on his. You gotta, you gotta, very, you know, hate people like this. That's gonna do that. You know, they see you as uh, a come up. You know, and that that really grinds my gears. Those type of people that consistently want to see what you're doing, and they want to kind of sneak around and, and and see what you're doing, and then they try to level up on you and try to get up over the top of you, without even really helping or caring about the originator of what's going on. They just take what you got. And, and they'll steal it and they'll take it and act as if it's theirs. And you got to you gotta hate people like that, to be totally honest, man. It's just, uh, yeah, it's very, very, very uh, distasteful, man. So let's, let's continue on. And he's doing it verbatim. He's just changed my car into a spaceship. Him and Steve had already apologized for me, so I gave him a pass. For a decade, why would you sit here and be like, I talked to, I saw Cat 30 times, <laughs> and Cat didn't do, as I stand before you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, see, and that's that bullshit right there. This man apologized. Cat Williams forgave him. He forgave Cedric the Entertainer and Steve Harvey for what they did. For, a, he said, a decade, 10 years, and this man just going to turn around and act as though he never stole the joke after he already apologized. <laughs> oh, man, you got you to, gotta, uh, come on, man, that's not right, Cedric Entertainer. That is not right. That's not how you conduct things. That's not how you go about doing things. And I can totally understand why Cat Williams is pissed off about it because I would be, I think any rational human being would be pissed off about a situation like that. So... You, Shannon. I would have bust Cedric's stomach. <laughs> <laughs> he said he would have bust Cedric's stomach, man. He was about to come in there and hit him with the underhand right. <laughs> hit him with the left hook to the body, man. Oh, man. <laughs> there was nothing that would have kept me from one of these in, in that patch right there. Like, are you kidding me? Why would you downplay me like that? Why did I give you a pass if you were just going to mm -hmm. lie? And Facts. so that's what I'm saying. Like, they're all a group. Cedric, Steve, Ricky, they've been a group. Everybody knows that. They've been aligned. And, and there are these alliances in comedy. And if you stand against them, then they sometimes have a problem. But we don't let that change the content because that's all you know me for, is that I'm quite likely to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help me that. And that's facts right there. Ever since I've known Cat Williams, he's always been the type of person to come out and say exactly how he feel, man. I think that changes my opinion on Cedric the Entertainer. I thought Cedric the Entertainer was a pretty cool dude, pretty stand-up dude, man. But he seems to be a slick character. And you got to watch those snakes, man, because they'll steal, they'll kill, and they'll destroy if they got the chance, man. And, uh, and, and, and it's really distasteful, like I said before, man. So uh, if... if you know, if every, everything Cat Williams saying is true and I've seen the joke, I'm pretty sure you guys probably seen the joke that that he was talking about. Um, I think that's very, very uh, 
that's that's very very wrong you know what i mean that's that's wicked it's evil it's disgusting and it's distasteful and i don't like it man so y'all let me know y'all thoughts down in the comment section how y'all feel about the whole situation about how he stole his jokes i think it's wrong and i think god is watching and uh these are the types of things we probably gonna have to answer for in the next life man so you got to be careful with that kind of stuff much love peace and blessings to everybody checking into the video this your boy get a mic like share comment subscribe all that good stuff, man. Come on back for another video. Real spill. Much love.